Hi, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the absence of two weeks, uh, life happened. Today I've got another scrap project for you and this time it's slightly bigger scraps because I'm gonna make like a black line and for that you need a little bit of bigger scraps but it's, it's still a very nice and very useful way to get through with your scraps. So this is how I did it. I started out with selecting my fabrics then I went on and made my little triangle to use for the flags. I cut that out, I um, traced around it on the fabric, cut it out, gave it a quick little press because the fabric was a bit wrinkly, then pinned two pieces together, sewed it down, took all of the pins out, cut off all of the excess in the tip just to avoid bulk. And then I pressed open the seams with the help of my tailor's board, you don't necessarily need this, it's just very very handy if you do have it. After that I turned them outside out with the use of a turning tool scissors, pins, basically everything under the sun that could help me with it. Then I pressed them flat, I selected my bias tape to make the little tape that I would put all the flags on, finished off the edges, started measuring, calculating, making several mistakes on where the flags actually would be put on the line, figured it out, pinned them down, sewed it down, then sewed loops on the end and then you've got a flag line. Now that did not go as easy as that, it did not take a minute and a half. It took several hours. The footage. Now that you've seen all that, you know how to put one together. 
and you can go on and make your own celebratory flags with whatever you can find in your sewing room. You could even patch like little scraps together and make very fun patchwork with names, with numbers, with anything basically on it, flag lines. So get creative, use up all of your scraps. That will be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give it a like, please. If you want to see more and different videos, because I do a lot of things, subscribe. And for all the people who are subscribed and are waiting for the other coat video, I had a bit of a roadblock with that, but I've overcome it. So that'll hopefully be in next week's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.